Hello everybody, I am Brayman19 and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new series in Empire Total War. This time we're going after th with the Maratha Confederacy and I want everybody to go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel right now so you can go ahead and be getting the updates of the new ones when they come out. And this is going to be very, 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 very interesting of a campaign in my opinion. Um, it may seem kind of short because you don't have to like cross the world multiple times or anything like that. But the Maratha kind of start out as the, uh, you know, they're kind of in the same situation as the Ottomans. They don't have the best units at the beginning. They don't have, uh, you know, uh, they don't really have the best empire. You know, we only start with two regions We're at, you know, we're pretty much starting, you know, at odds against the Mughal who own all this, but the Mughal are really the worst, you know, major power at the start that you can't play. So, you know, you have that, and at the same time, you know, the Persians are out here waiting for you to get to them or decide what you're going to do with them, uh, you know, and you could butt up heads against the Ottomans. And at the same point, there's Portuguese here in uh, Goa, and there's Ce uh, there's the uh, Netherlands here in Ceylon. So there's a lot of things going on that makes this very interesting. No, I won't be going in America. I won't be going too much in Europe. Um, if I go over here at all, it might be might be a little bit of North Africa, and it might be uh, like, you know, some parts of the Middle East. That's about it. I'm not expecting much more than that. But anyways, all right. So let's just jump in here to the description. The Maratha Empire or Confederacy was born in violence as a result of the successful overthrow of Mughal rule less than a generation ago. Raja or King Shivaji managed to gain control of the Poon region. And from the Mughal power was no longer from the Mughal power was no longer invincible. As might be expected, the Mughals and the Marathas will nurse a dislike for each other. Unlike the foreign in origin Mughals, the Maratha rulers are Indian princes and kings. They know the value of the Indian way of doing things, of the age-old strength of their lands. Their armies may look old-fashioned, possibly quaint to foreign eyes, but they make that makes them no less effective. The empire exists solely because it has the military strength to withstand the Mughal threat. Perhaps now, though, it is time to think of expansion. It may long, no longer be enough to hold off the Mughals. Perhaps they should be driven from India altogether and a new empire with Indian rulers established. Perhaps only Indians truly have the ability to withstand the Europeans who are starting to demand much of India. For now, the Europeans want only money and trade, but soon, they will be after concessions, a little piece of land here, another piece there, until all, it's ruled by, all is ruled by foreigners from across the sea. Unless a strong hand guides India, it is possible that the rule of Mughal outsiders will be replaced by the lordship of European outsiders, and perhaps one day a Maratha could demand concessions from a European in his lands. So really what they're doing is they're kind of foreshadowing what actually happened in India. Um, as you probably all know, uh, if you have paid attention to any kind of history before, is that India kind of got chomped up between the, uh, you know, between the European powers. France took some space, Britain took some space, Portugal already had theirs, and uh, throughout different wars, Britain pretty much became the dominant force in all of India until, uh, you know, all the way through World War II, and then after that, you know, Gandhi and his, you know, his efforts and and a few, uh, you know, and a few other prominent Indians actually. This, you know, were able to get them to, uh, you know, were able to gain independence for India. And that kind of was the start of, uh, you know, I guess, uh, independence movements throughout, you know, the British and French and, uh, other, you know, even the Belgian, you know, the Belgium and, uh, Belgian, I can't even say that right. The Belgian, Belgian empires and, uh, with Belgian Congo and I think the Netherlands too. So yeah, anyways, all right, so we're doing a long campaign here. We have to capture and hold 24 regions by the end of the year 1799, including the regions shown. We need to have Mala, Mysore, Bijapur, Orissa and Sakars, Punjab, Ahmednagar, I can't say that ever, Karnataka, Ceylon, Bengal, Gujarat, Marar, or Berar, excuse me, Hindustan, Hyderabad, and Goa. So pretty much we need to own all of this. That needs to all be ours. And then I'll probably have to push into Persia a little bit to get the extra ones I need. May even have to do some stuff against the Ottomans. Don't know. But we'll find out when we get there. Anyways, so we'll just go ahead and start. It's going to be a good campaign. I feel it. Your time has come. The once powerful Mughal Empire is crumbling. Now the Maratha kingdoms must unite and rise against their oppressors. 
As such, your priorities should be to begin pushing northwards into Mughal territory. Although the majority of the population is Hindu, their Muslim rulers will be trying to convert as many people as possible across the land. Prevent large-scale conversions by assassinating their imam teachers if you can. Sending thuggies to their cities will give you intelligence about Mughal forces. European powers have begun to show interest in India for the trade wealth they know they can obtain. The Portuguese and Dutch already have a foothold on Indian soil, and the British and French are close behind them. It may be prudent to maintain trade with foreigners, to ally with one or the other for mutual benefit, or to drive them out of your lands altogether. In the latter case, it would be sensible to develop trade capabilities and technological research of your own. Yeah, okay. So, pretty much as you can see, we have our two regions, um, and this one is so much further away than that one. Um, we start out not making a whole lot of money either, about you know, 4,400 ducats. We are at war with the Mughal right away, and the pirates. Our trade partners are Mysore and the United Provinces. So we need to start looking at getting that increased right off the bat. So let me go into here. Diplomatic relations. Who would I like to be friendly with? Great Britain would be a great one to start trading with, even though he doesn't want to. Let's see about France. Yes, France is a good one. Um, and that's pretty much the only one I can pick up there. Um, I would have preferred Great Britain, but, you know, France works for now. Um, as I gain more ports, which there's tons of them to gain. I mean, look at all of this. Ter one, two, three, four. Four when Portugal goes down to Spain, Mysore will get one eventually. Would be five, six, seven, and then of course eight when I go after that because I think the Netherlands will go down pretty quick as they usually do. Um, where are my forces all at? So I need to decide where am I going to go, and I really this is the more important territory because it actually can build other units. We have a lot of forces out here. We already have uh, fixed Your cannons. Your Majesty. And that'll allow us actually to touch our own, our touch our folks here. All right, um, you're going here. Okay. There's a school, there's a weaver. Probably actually need to get rid of that weaver, I don't think. Okay, and then while I'm thinking about this, let's go ahead and put all of our men here. Yeah, empiricism. Good start. Um, send that guy there. There we go. We need to push Hinduism here if we can. I'm going to bring... Oh, this is such a bad situation right now. There are currently no troops. Okay, we don't start off very strong. There are currently no troops. We have some. We have a lot of cavalry type and all that, and we get we do get elephant units, but that's still a little ways to go. I'm gonna put these two together, then I'll go on right here. Um, what can I use my money on? Or I get trade there. I don't have anything else by the looks of it. Oh, this is fine. Villages are not growing here. I guess I need to get rid of him. I'm just I'm I'm sacrificing my future. You know, my immediate future money, you know, money supplies. Ooh, no, we don't want a military governor. Well, we're going to have to keep it for a little bit. Let's come over here and deal with this one. A, well, infrastructure, cobbled roads. Cobbled roads. Okay, I can do those pretty easily. Then I need to do a school of the arts. Ah, Raj's palace would be nice. This is a relatively small army. 
See, I want to take that and I want to kind of get a... You know, I'd kind of like to go and wait. Once Goa goes, I'm going to... Once, you know, Portugal goes, this area is going to rebel. I'm going to go after that really quick. And then I'm going to try to get up another arm... You know, try to get the army that took Goa to get Mysore. And I kind of just want to hold the position here until then. All right, I think we're good. Let's end the turn. I didn't get a whole lot of money left over, but I'm not putting on uh, automatic construction or taxes. Not just yet. There's no need to put all that on right now. I also have to do sieges as much as I can right now because I can't afford some a lot of stuff. Oh, really? Thanks. I guess he kind of knew what I was going to do. Here go the Portuguese. I guess they're going to go after Mysore. Go Mysore. Hopefully you'll take Goa for me. Okay. Um... War declare between the United Provinces and Spain. Between Prussia and Austria, of course. And Poland, Lithuania, and Austria. Okay. Um I don't have a I don't have a much larger force, don't have a lot of attacking groups either. So we're gonna siege first. Um, small ashram. Yeah, we're now only making like three thousand. Thuggies are assassins and spies. In fact, this is where the English word. Okay, so thuggies. Our spies. I didn't even see him. He was way up there. I'm sending him to their capital, though. Over time, that might help. Um, nobody else closer willing to work with me. My sore is obviously working with me, though. I mean, I could I could have declared war on Portugal. You know, if I had the man the manpower. Let's do that. Next turn, I'll use uh, my force. I'll go ahead and I'll do some attacking. Not a bad 1700, though. Yeah, Prussia normally goes after the Netherlands pretty early. Um, within the first 10 to 15 years. Ooh, he's building up his forces right there. Up, oh, and he's trying to siege us out. Good job, Mysore. Keeping Portugal back. I could fight this from Karnataka too if I wanted to. There are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income later. Okay. Um. That's three away. You know, I also could have given that place up and came off over here for a turn, but nah. We'll, uh... 1208 versus 576. We're going to break this siege. Yeah, I, I want to go ahead and break the siege. I want to do what I can to, you know, keep us as well, you know, as best economically as I can. Um, best place for him is there.
Give me a couple of my Farlock arm populaces out here. Musketeers. You, you, you. Let's push forward. Some of the, you, we have some weird units and stuff set up in here. We're having a march out. This is one of the first times I think we've actually been sieged at such an early, you know, time, to where we have to, you know, march out. All right, let's fast forward. Oh wow. The Lancers took a big hit. Yeah, I don't have square formations or anything yet, so the better, the faster I can get up here where I need to be, the better off. As you can see, our generals are riding on elephants. Okay, fast forward, come on. Everybody get up there. If we beat this army right here, this is the major Mughal army too. Yeah, they're not very big, are they? Run two. And they're using arrows. Fun, I guess. Um... these guys off over here we'll let these guys handle a uh, horse yep, there he is shattered board march You guys will run to position. You too. There you all go. You can fire directly on that artillery now. Who's firing point blank at you. But he doesn't have canister shot yet. So that doesn't matter so much. Should be starting to lose guns now. And here's something I don't understand. I've killed, you know, six of them. They leave their guns on the field. That should mean that I get the I get his cannon. Like he's, you know, that that should be captured equipment. There you go. Get get them bowmen. Get them. Here 
comes the body, general's bodyguard. Just wading into us. Cavalry wading into us. Come on, men, hold out. Ah, oh, but we got shattered, wow. There you go. We're firing point blank on those musketeers. There goes our boys over here running. They were fighting in between with gun uh, bowmen too. Emmy General has been killed. Let's hope we can use that to our uh, advantage. Killed the other general. Both of these armed populaces are gone. Did a lot of damage to the generals, though. The swordman hit them in the back didn't help. Nice job. He's broken, apparently. Done a ton of damage now. Let me go ahead and pull you two up. Bring my general up, too. There you go, help out this guy. There's bowmen out there run, uh, who are running. Try to disengage for a second. Ah, oh, it didn't work out well. You guys are ready to fire. Come on, give it, give him a shot. You guys are still stuck in here? Come on. Fast forward it. Yep, they're bringing musketeers back. Here we 
go. Got one. Come on, if we can just get them, we gotta stop them from being able to flank us. I want you to run too. Shattered him, good. Here they come. Come on, fire in there. Let's get rid of these elephants. There he is. He's broken. to position. There you go. There you go. Shoot him in the back. Now oh, they turned to fire. We're broken here and exhausted at that. Those guys were shattered. Now these guys have been broken. Let's go ahead and shatter them. Now he's wavering. Nice job. Broke him. All right, they're all running. Heroic victory. We somehow pulled out a victory there. That was difficult. We killed 463. They killed 543 of us. So, uh... We are definitely going to take that victory. All right, not bad. Um, that's three turns away there. Um, I'm going to need to look at adding new men. Let's see. Um, yeah, the Barger infantry are my line. And there's Hindu Musketeers. So let's see, he's 70, 25, 20, 15. So 70, 25, 20, 15. Yeah, this is my guy, Burger, the Burger Infantry. 70, 25, 20, 15. 70, 25, 20, 15. 70, 25, 20, 15. Yeah, okay. And cool, I'll get them all in the next turn. Um, let's see, yeah, School of the Arts will get done. And then we'll have to see about doing something from there. At least we got these guys down to four. They're not going to do too much now. Um, okay, cool. So, all right, guys, I'm going to have to end this one right here. It wasn't a bad first episode. Um, you just really can't do a whole lot at the beginning with the Maratha. You'll have to build up and get your economy rolling and stuff like that first. Um, we're looking for Port uh, Portugal to go to war with Spain and lose, you know, their go to into rebellion. Even if they take Mysore, I think they'll rebel there as well. Um, and that will be just something I don't really have to worry about. Um, I will lose a trade partner though, so I don't want that to happen either. But, um, other than that, there's not much else to do. So, all right, guys, I uh, appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Discord in the link in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.